Hi, I'm Rod Klimek, the Kilted Carpenter. Is that a good opening? Do you think I'll get on? What's that? This old house? Yeah, watch out, Vila. Is he still around? Anyway, this is what we've got going on today. We have a beam, which you can't see, so let's show him this one, honey. That the gentleman put in. Uh, this is a this is two two by sixes with a piece of OSB in the middle, which is not very structurally sound. If you go to my Instagram, you can see that I made that video. It's like we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes, uh, but I'm here to fix it. We have to put an LVL in here. We're going to put two microlam in here. And so basically, this is what we had on this side. We're doing two of them, so you can turn around and look at that. And this is basically what we did. We built a little header, which is two two by fours here, nailed together, and one two by four on the bottom for a plate. So it's sort of like a T. Then we have a double plate on the bottom here. And close to here, we went in the basement and measured over, and underneath this, we've got a, a double beam going across. No text on the job. Uh-huh. So we put that down, plumb it up with a stick so we knew where to set our header, grabbed our lolly columns, set them, and just started tightening this up to hold that beam up, put a couple screws into the rafters, which would be the floor joist of the upstairs, just to hold this in place. And now we've got just one more stud to put in to hold this up. And then we're gonna take the beam out, the two by six, I shan't call it a beam. We're gonna take that out and we're gonna put a micro lamb in. So it's a pretty simple thing to do. It can be a little sketchy if you're, you know, your average homeowner, weekend warrior. That's fine. I love what you do on Instagram and Pinterest. It's awesome. But you might want to leave something like this to someone who knows a little bit more about structure, loads, where to put things, what requires what. Uh, but basically, that's where we're at right now. We're going to put in one more stud, and then we're going to start demoing and take that beam out. So one of the things that is wrong with this picture, aside from this being a way undersized piece of wood, I mean, really, you probably could have gotten away with like a 2 by 10 two 2 by 10s but still, we're here. The uh, engineer calls for LVL, so that's what we're putting in. Right here, we've got two jack studs. Before I take these out, that's why I wanted to film this now. This, if something goes up under a header, that's a jack stud. A king stud is going to go from the, the bottom plate to the top plate. And this right here, this should be a king stud. So imagine... A world where this board goes all the way up then you bring your beam in and then you put a jack stud so this has to go and we're gonna get working on that in one second after we demo so we just got the header out it's gonna be 98 degrees today it has nothing to do with this video but it sucks the uh, all the framing was done with these these finish screws, which I don't think is the, I think these are actually Trex composite decking screws. They have the reverse head so they don't mushroom out, or reverse thread. But I don't think that's what you're supposed to use. I mean, I'm not a carpenter or anything. So now take a look up here before we get started on step by step how to build and put the new beam in. We've, got, we've gotten rid of everything here. So we're going to put in a king stud and a jack stud. We're going to build the, uh, double up the micro lamp and slide it in, nail everything together, and then we can get rid of this wall. So let's get going on that. All right, so we measured our width for our micro lamp. And we have to double it up, so we're just going to, you know, have to do a lot here. Just a couple little strings of glue. Again, this is cut already. We've got two of them cut. This is just for fun. Let's put an R on there. R. That's for Roderick. I love him. And then we're going to take our second one. We think my filter is going to have to help me in a second here. We'll just set this on so you can get an idea of the process of what we're doing. I'm going to glue that. 
Yeah. Oh, I got to help her over there. Yeah. Line that up. Like that. There we go. So now we've got our double micro lamp. And then you don't have to spin around. Somebody's trying to kill me. It's my, it's my <laughs> camera crew. Takes ballet. So that's where that was coming into play, right? And then you've got three inch nails in here, so we're just going to angle them a little bit so they don't go through. Just like that. And you feel a little bounce. Now we're just going to finish off the board just like that, then take a hammer, set those nails in, and we're going to put it in. Okay, it's starting to heat up in here. This is where we're at right now. We put up our beam. And we went over the engineer report and he's calling for two jack studs. We have to screw this one off still. We've got this is what I was telling you about previously. This is a king stud, floor to ceiling, two jack studs holding up this micro lamp. And this thing is not going to go anywhere. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to screw this off. Then we're going to take out this jack. This is, check out the America. Right, <laughs> just got our, our little jack right out of the truck, made a little beam, lift it up, and you're good to go. So we'll get back to you and we're going to take that jack. Okay, so we took down our little supporting wall. We got the jack out of there. I'm going to take this down. Oh my gosh, nothing, nothing collapsed. I think we did all right. One more to go. At least it's cool out. Okay, so now we've taken down our whole support wall. This is nice and level. It's touching every one of the floor joists, which the other one was not doing. We had a big sag there. Uh, because the house is so old, it's not perfectly level. It's pretty good, but we don't want to push anything upstairs. We don't want to start cracking walls. There's been some settling over a hundred years. So this is not perfectly level. This is off probably a quarter inch over this 12 foot span, which is not too bad for the age of the house. And we just wanted to push up what sagged from the lack of a proper beam, not level the whole thing and crack all the taping compound upstairs and everything. So we have, this is the way it's supposed to be done kids. Two jack studs, as per the engineer, one king stud. We have two ply micro lamb here that are glued and nailed together. These are toe screwed into that king stud and toad screwed into that toad stewed. <laughs> toad stewed. <laughs> toe screwed into that king stud. So there you go. There's your brand new beam, which is not a two by six put together with finished screws. Okay, so now going over to the second one that's really sagging, we're going to be taking a roof load on this one. And we got this wire here. It's in our way, so we're going to have to pull this out, drill a hole, feed it back up through. But let's see if I can do this again. Oh, now it's not going to do it. There we go. How about that? The lights go on and off when you move the wire. There we go. <laughs> like a disco. So, since we're here, and I'm going to take this box apart anyway. Did I say have it out Is that a word that I said? I think so. <laughs> have it out And since I have to take this box apart anyway, we're just going to get in there and we're going to fix those wires up. We're already here. May as well do the work, right? Okay. So... It's getting really hot right now. I'm a little drippy. We got our beam out. In order to put in our bottom plate, we had to move this wire, which means we had to pull it out of the box. And this thing was a jumbled mess. It's still kind of messy, and it's got these getting close here. It's got these connectors. And let me tell you, these connectors are awesome, but not for this. All right, this isn't part of the package, and there's still an electrician coming, and he's going to rewire everything. So I'm going to leave them for now. They're safe. 
<laughs> but they're not ideal in a situation like this. It's a quick connect in a ceiling box, that type of thing. So just use a wire nut at home, all right? Uh, and we fixed it, and now unfortunately, the disco's gone, man. We pulled it out, and we just redid the box. We're here for this, so we're going to focus on that. But, you know, I'm here, and i got to move the stuff, so may as well fix it, right? Do the right thing, fellas. They'll reward you. Okay, now we're ready for same thing, king stud, king stud. Put in another beam. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got our other beam. I'm basically drenched right now. Take a look at that nice beam. Look at that. Yeah, turn around. Turn around. There's another nice beam over there. Nah, nah. Okay, so we're in a two by six, right? So now we're ready to take down the supporting wall and clean up our job site and uh, move on to the next thing. Okay, folks, this is it. Our last wrench turning after we took down our support wall. And just gently set everything down on that beam. Just like a so. Yeah. I'll be dogged. Or whatever the kids say. Hold on, let's take a look. This this shirt became an extra large with all the sweat. Stand by you have to follow me. Oh my goodness, stalker. And <laughs> let's take a look. Well, I'll be dog. We got this here thing level. Ugh. Nice and level. Now it's time to clean up, take that beam down, the top plate that we screwed up. We didn't screw it up like we messed it up, <laughs> like we screwed it up with screws. Oddly enough, not finished screws for decking. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's the whole beam job right there. We're moving on to smaller and more finite things with some aluminum work in a little bit. I'm Rod Klemek. I'm the Kilted Carpenter. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, Instagram, the Kilted Carpenter. Facebook, the Kilted Carpenter. And that's it. That's all I got for now. But we'll work on something else. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Tell your friends to like and subscribe because I love. I know. But they're into beam work. They're like, whoa, did you see that dude do the beams, man? I got to watch that 800 times. That's all I got. Rod Klimek, let's get it done. <laughs>